All right, what's up, guys? So, um, on the eleventh, there was a interesting story, to say the least, um, that was published oh, by Vice. Um, I like to preface this by saying, you know, there was once upon a time where I actually really liked Vice, and I thought that they were bringing a very unique way of doing things to the table as far as journalism is concerned i remember when they were first getting big and they were gaining notoriety they would be they were able to get like a hold of some of the most polarizing people and were able to get interviews and stuff from them i think they did a an interview uh or documentary on ms19 or something like that you know that was really cool um anyway so this article is called your cock is mine now hacker locks internet connected chastity cage demands ransom and then there's like a little sub caption that says turns out giving an internet connected device control of your penis may not be the best idea ever so basic well so the particular chastity cage in question uh, the reason I say it that way is because there are a variety of different brands and different ones that look different, and I guess they serve slightly different purposes. I don't have one. I'd never put something like this on my body, but that's just me. That's how I'm living life out here. So this one is called The Cellmate, and it's powered by QIUI. I don't really know how to pronounce that, so I'm not even going to really try. Um, and basically, this one is able to um be remotely controlled through a phone app or whatever um and essentially what happened was there was this guy that had one on and apparently there was an api that was left unattended and that gave a loophole for um for a hacker to basically you know brute force his way in and take control of it so essentially this this individual had it on and he the hacker locked it and the apparently the hacker told multiple victims of his because this individual at least that's in question in this specific article wasn't the only one that this happened to um there was a message that came up that said your cock is mine now can't make this up right so i think eventually he was able to 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 get it off um that had to have been embarrassing um you know if you have to go to the doctor like even if you know you you had you know if you had the balls no pun intended to go to geek squad or some tech support shit i mean i guess this is like a piece of you know tech this is an electronic at the end of the day but um the the hacker apparently was doing this so that he could receive payments of uh 0.02 uh in the, in the amount of bitcoin which are in you know that's around 177 that's around $750 and that was the only way that he was going to unlock it um and there was no way for this individual who was you know death gripped at the moment there was no way for him to just take it off i guess um yeah so how do i feel about this i'm looking at this in multiple different ways one i don't know why any in now all right we're not here to kink shame but i just don't understand why certain people go to great lengths to you know i don't even know what you're trying to achieve at this point like you're you're putting uh you're putting a, a a cell on your dick like what's the point of that like what is sexy about that like you're punishing yourself well i mean i guess the more i talk about it the more i kind of see where what people why people you know why this is arousing to them the more i talk but i just i think it's funny how we don't live in the days anymore where you know a guy can just go on you know one of these 
special X-rated sites, right? Because I don't want YouTube to get on my dick about it, but about, you know, saying specific things that are demonetizable, if you will. But, you know, there used to be a time where you could just go on one of these sites and just, you know, look up whatever it is that you're into. And all you had to do was just, you know, touch yourself. And that was all you needed to do and it was the best feeling in the world and you know you you, you cleaned yourself up and you, you um you went on with your life but now you know motherfuckers damn near gotta gotta hook themselves up to car batteries just to get some semblance of what that used to feel like like you know what i mean i i don't i don't understand and then when i look at pictures of this thing it looks like it has some kind of like testicular uh brace around it almost like it locks your testicles into place so like what i'm thinking is like who's to say that like the hacker couldn't mess up and then you know accidentally hit a button because he really didn't know what he was doing and then crushed your your balls now you have no testicles right your balls hurt like shit they probably have to be surgically removed and now you can't have kids like think about it like all of that just because you couldn't have sex the right way. You know what I mean? I just, I don't, I don't get it anymore. Like it's nothing can just be done the normal way. Everything, everyone always has to go to great lengths to, to, to achieve a, a simple result. Like, why can't you just beat your meat? Like, I, I just don't get it. Like, and there's no way, there's no way you had that shit on and you were about to fuck. Like, there's no way. There's no way. Because it just, that's not going to hurt. Like, I, I, don't, I don't get it. But, um, you know, whatever. Fuck it. It's your life, right? Um, I, I think there's some kind of, uh, I don't, I don't know exactly how to say it. Um, there's like a place that you can reach out to. Yeah, it's called, um, this, this guy's name is Lorenzo Franceschi Beachy area. Um, and I guess he's, he deals with these kinds of malfunctions. It leaves all his information at the bottom of this article. I'm not even going to bother putting it out there because I'd hope to God that any of you listening that you don't you're you're not stupid enough to put yourself in this situation i just know i never i never would be like I, i'm pretty normal when it comes to these kinds of things like i'm not really i don't really need to like hurt myself to like want to get off i'm not really uh i'm not really marquise de Sade out here you know what i mean not putting needles in my dick and shit like like that but um yeah so this was this was a pretty interesting story to say the least um yeah, it's kind of tells you a lot about the society that we live in. You know, we kind of live in a society, you know, no pun intended with that. Need. But um, tell me what you guys think. Um, I'm not really surprised anymore uh, when it when it comes to shit like this. Um, there's not really too much that any individual can't do nowadays that's going to like really like render my eyes wide open with my mouth wide open in shock. So you know tell me what you guys think in the comments or whatever hey if anything if there's any of you guys out there that hears this and you love that shit you know leave a comment about it tell me what your experience was i just hope you still have your balls Take 